Pérez, de diamante, de Daddy Janky. Mesmo depois de sentar em tal atmosfera, se alguém cria pensamentos inúteis, e puxar até. então isso é empenho? Uma atmosfera tão boa, uma oportunidade tão boa, fortuna, a qual posso alcançar pelo estudo, pela prática. E nisso também, continuamos pensando em coisas passadas. Passada do quê? Existem duas coisas aqui, uma é do futuro. Quando fui ao Chile, nosso irmão cientista constantemente falava do passado. Eu disse, irmão, fale do presente comigo. Por causa das experiências do passado, você não pode fazer nada no presente. E por causa da preocupação com o futuro, você não poderá fazer nada. Que empenho é nisso? Diga-me, que tipo de empenho é esse? Perguntem a eles. É apenas uma questão de intelecto. No presente, o que está na sua frente, você tem uma chance diante de si, a fortuna ali. Aproveite isso, não faça nada. Na Britvela, simplesmente venha, sente-se, em vez de dormir. Agora eles acordam automaticamente. Eu digo, se você não se levantar, Baba sacudirá seu travesseiro. Então, automaticamente, os olhos se abrem. Quando eles sentem aqui, sentam aqui, então o coração diz, eu me sentarei para sempre aqui. A comida é tal que Baba diz que é pura. Então, quando vemos essa comida, pensamos que é uma comida muito boa, muito poderosa. Então, o que é empenho? Tudo o que é ruim para a mente, para a saúde, devemos, não devemos fazer. O que mais é empenho? Om Shanti. Om Shanti. É tão adorável e inspirador ouvir, mesmo que poucas palavras faladas por Dadi, Dadi Janki, vendo aqueles que vivem nesse momento, experimentam que Baba cria uma atmosfera muito poderosa. E recebemos Brahma Bodhya, comida pura. Então, qual é o empenho? Empenho é experimentar o benefício, apreciar o que eu estou recebendo, ser agradecido à Baba e à família do que me foi fornecido, atmosfera boa, boa comida, Brahma Bodhya. Ainda assim, alguns têm pensamentos inúteis, pensamentos do passado, futuro, sobre esta pessoa, aquela pessoa. Então, de certa forma, ela nos, nos está nos dando essa questão de que a gente não deveria fazer isso. E sim, quais são minhas aquisições? Baba falou tanto na Murli sobre o tempo. E é tão interessante que quando ouvimos Baba, o que ele está fazendo no presente, especialmente na Murli de hoje de manhã, o, o intelecto o dia inteiro tem pensado. Eu pensei, Baba, você é o senhor da inocência, você é 
que ele que doa bênçãos. Então, quando o Baba disse, neste momento, precisamos ter três especialidades, experimentar todas as aquisições de alegria, de amor e felicidade, todas as aquisições agora na nossa vida brana. Então, sentiremos essa vida como perfeita, completa, plena. Eu falarei um pouquinho mais tarde, mas as três qualidades que Baba mencionou é companhia de Baba, serviço, ser um companheiro cooperativo de Baba e, e tornar-se como Baba. Essas qualidades, três qualidades importantes. Companhia significa ser uma alma yogi. Eu estou na companhia de Baba. Baba está me dando companhia. Companheiro cooperativo. Ou seja, o tempo todo, o sanskar de ser cooperativo, companheiro para o serviço com Baba. Ou seja, estou disponível para Baba, para cooperar com cada pensamento, palavra e ação. E a coisa mais importante é pelos pensamentos, não é mesmo? Baba quer, neste momento, que eu sirva qualquer alma específica com esse pensamento positivo. E eu fico perdido no sanskars ou alguma coisa. Então, essa cooperação necessária naquele momento, de forma muito sutil... Terceira é tornar-se como Baba. Ah, exige, exige atenção. Como hoje Baba disse, ele é misericordioso. Ser como Baba significa deixar passar misericórdia. Mas, ao mesmo tempo, tudo que vocês recebem como poder, doem aquela alma, ou a atmosfera, ou a tarefa. Então, tornar-se como o Baba ao mesmo tempo. É tão interessante, estava me lembrando, quando eu tive de sair da Índia. Baba estava me enviando, então não havia nenhuma dificuldade. Mas a minha única preocupação era que se eu estiver longe das como eu saberei que tipo de empenho elas estão tendo? Porque se eu estou com elas, pelo menos eu sei. Porque eu quero estar com elas na mesma qualidade de empenho. Sempre que eu ia então a Madhuban, eu ficava bem próxima. Claro, minha fortuna de ficar fisicamente, mas internamente perceber onde elas estavam, seguindo o xerímetro, ficar. Então, uma espécie de proximidade que eu criava. Como o Baba disse, se você não está próxima, como você vai se tornar igual? Então, essa proximidade. Três qualidades, Baba disse. Yogi companheiro, pleno de conhecimento, que significa, cada momento, cooperar no serviço. Companhia, companheiro e ser como Baba. Mas Baba disse também o que eu refleti quando Baba disse os filhos precisam receber, precisam dar 
はい。ただ。Time where Baba, being merciful and giver of blessings, bestower of blessings, helps me to settle my karmic accounts in a way that was said, Yes, I am Lord of Innocent. and Whatever mistake you make, you come to me and you ask for forgiveness. But I can only give you forgiveness if there is power of realization. From my heart, I realize it's my mistake, not、oh, very careless. Oh, no, it's not as if I never make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But when there is realization from the heart, Baba says, then I give, I forgive. Not just you come and ask for forgiveness in path of bhakti, but they always do that. And it, then I start thinking of how much Brahma Baba also was. So the two points I really underlined. Courage and power of realization from the heart. I shouldn't have been, or any, any sanskar I have, I should really change that. So, from heart and realization, then Baba says, I forgive. And at this time, God's help of forgiveness based on my power of realization. Is most needed. Otherwise, I don't think we can ever clear our karmic accounts. Baba gave e x a m p l e of、uh, Chitra Group, that means someone who kept all the accounts, you know, like agent, like we all have accountant here, but accountant, Baba's accountant. So that is something very special of Confluence Age. That God Himself forgives me based on, of course, my power of realization. Any, any situation happens, first you think what better I could have done to avoid this situation. You not always think this one's fault, this one's fault. Yes, we all are in the same, but where I could change. So that some things like this d o e s n t happen. Because that's, that's really a、uh, great help also in y a g a that he said、um, not to have any wasteful thoughts. And then Baba, as、uh, so becoming like Baba is canopy, Baba's canopy is on us. So, how Listening to Baba, while listening, thinking how I can be like Baba. So, when he is talking of three qualities, last one really needs、uh, cooperative constantly. Yes, it's important. And I think that is more subtly available for Baba, not only through actions, but words. But l o t through the subtle powers. But at the same time, becoming like Baba. Look at Baba, follow Srimad, have realization, and feel that I am becoming like Baba. It's the time, it's a blessed time in the sense of there will constantly be blessings. And I think that we look forward for 
accumulation of blessings. And that is why whenever we get some elevated thought to do anything, we should immediately do it because you receive blessings from the souls, not only from Baba. It is important to receive blessings from other souls also. And that's only possible when whatever elevated thoughts we get, we serve them in that way. Sometimes it's actions or things are going out of way to do it, but there are a lot of blessings. And then our more trust on that, when we are cooperative in service, everything gets done. Because there are souls these days not able to come to Baba's home. So any service they get, they are so happy to do it. You call anyone for any service, they are so happy because before they used to do so regularly. Somewhere yesterday in one of the center, the town donated lot of lot of thousands of flowers no? and the mayor had to come and go around so they called 20 people all 20 <laughs> they were so happy they're doing today also because they are sitting at home hadn't done service for a long time but if we say no no we're not going to do it who will do it? What will happen? So many thoughts, right? But anyone, everyone is so happy. And then Baba also said at conferences, when you have all relationships with Baba, as an extra, you know, that means he will help you as a friend, he will help you as parents, he will help you as teacher. So all attainments of Brahman life, then I don't feel that anything is lacking. So I will say that all of you, each one of you, should thank Baba every moment of this life. Helping me to settle, helping me to create. He gives the pen in my hand write your fortune. So what I write, what did I, what did we write? So internally, listening to Baba makes you really, really, uh, today I just, Baba is with me, right? I am with Baba. And his qualities, I have to inculcate his qualities uh, to become like him. So when Baba says become karmatit like means you're not creating any karmic accounts. You're doing it detached, lovely. And when I am not in Baba's company, then Baba says, who appears? Cat. And the way Baba is saying in Hindi, meow means, should I come? I'm coming. Meow, meow. That is I, I, I come, say. Then I'm with Baba. Then Baba is Karan Karamanha. So no burden. Like recently Baba said, no tension. So suddenly, suddenly, if there is any kind of burden, Baba says, give me responsibility. I will carry that burden. Why are you carrying that? So it's also becomes a habit right, of carrying burden, but no. So there were so many assurances Baba gave us today. And in today's time, where there is no guarantee of 
in anyone's life for anything. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned yesterday, I hear so many news. Who left body, who got suddenly very sick, who any what's a lot of news about all that. Because as Baba says, time of settling. So take help from Baba in settling. Realize it. Go to Baba. Let Baba forgive me. I really, really love it. And uh, I think I apply that lot for every little I say, Baba. Yeah, I have to change. So in our heart, we will be in Baba's company, cooperative companion, and become like Baba. So keep courage is the method, and you will get multi-million times help from Baba at every step. Om Shanti. Om um, Shanti. So now we'll get our practice for tomorrow's Murli. We'd like to invite our dear brother, Ken. Welcome. Om um, Shanti, everyone. Om um, Shanti, Didi. Yes, I think all of us are resonating with today's Morley. It was so, bubble was so lovely, so understandable, so approachable. And of course, there are things inside of us that would definitely respond to, to Bubba's words. Uh, I think every phrase there was something that, that made us uh, just feel so thankful for Baba and this, this Brahmin life. Um, as you said, did he, um, time, the time that we're living is blessed. Um, and I was thinking also that uh, we need Baba's help. Definitely we need Baba's help because there are... Um, Four inheritances that that I could think about that without Baba's help was one of the inheritances directly from Baba. But without that help, it's very difficult, as you said. First inheritance, physically anyway, it's our DNA. <clears throat> so our ancestors, physical ancestors. Maybe we've got something hereditary. Um, I know in my case, my both my parents had had bad legs of circulation of blood in their legs, so I seem to have inherited that. So that is an inheritance that we really have to face and live with. And there's the inheritance from the fa the Lockheed family, if there's any money involved, and certainly the upbringing and whatever we learned at home is certainly part of our mentality. We can't remember the other lives, but this life, it certainly will be there. Um, there may be karmic leftover, leftovers from, from family as well, you know, the blood connections and also anything, anything in the negative sense scars that are still active in me. They will definitely be producing some karmic inheritance. Um, so hereditary, the DNA, the family, money or upbringing or other influences, our karmic inheritance, whatever we've thought, spoken and done in the past, even before this life, there's something left over from that. And at the same time, we're receiving Baba's inheritance. So we've got one inheritance from Baba and three to work with uh, from our Lockheed situation so that's why I was saying so, so on one side very complicated 
Um, but at the confluence stage, we have the time to organize all of this stuff with Bubba's help. And also, I think there's another help coming in too, as you said, the blessings that we can get from others by doing the service, by cooperating with Baba. I think none of us can dispense with the blessings of other Brahmins because their thoughts and feelings are very elevated and they can give us a lift. So there's a possible help from the blessings that I can get from others by genuinely serving from the heart, as Baba has been saying. So my heart is so much full of thanks, um, looking at all of these offers of attainments that Baba uh, is, is offering, the clarity of the knowledge, um, the overflowing treasures that he's offering us, the cooperation, offering to carry our burden, offering us a canopy of protection, offering his company, offering forgiveness if we have that realization from the heart, as you said. But we need to take, we need the courage to take that step and get the multi-million times help. And it means I need to, I have the realization as well as the courage, both things. And then Baba will definitely help to sort out whatever uh, we've we've got left over from our, our life, especially in, in the Iron Age, and uh, you know what, whatever we've accumulated negatively from other births that we have we don't even know about. We still have to settle somehow. So time, time, time—the time of settling, the time of receiving, the time of understanding the time of cooperation, the time of loving. So today was time, time, time. And interestingly, Baba he did talk about the karma teeth. He said, I'll talk about that at some later occasion. In fact, next week, because I've already seen next week's Molly, but next week we will have that deeper explanation about the philosophy of karma teeth. So let's prepare our ourselves for that for in one week to prepare so um the amrit bella started off by handing over any burden to baba and of course there will always sometimes be an excess of thinking too much or speaking too much and there'll be some little bit of weight there so we should re realize it and hand it over and uh, to claim what are the three specialities at this, this time, where you explain that so beautifully, the three specialities. Um, but I stay with the idea that I have to become a yogi soul, I have to become a jnani soul, and I have to understand the things. Um, and therefore, I'll have great care letting all of these things um, sink in and of course preparing myself to become karmati settling all of this stuff so the time of settling and the time of blessings and actually the blessings will help us to settle in a way that traffic control the, was beautiful experience just what am I receiving from the bestow of blessings at this moment just stop and feel what Bubba is giving me at the moment um, this easy effort um, and not the hard labor because Bob is helping us. So uh, what blessings am I receiving at the moment if I stop to meditate? And later on tonight, <clears throat> how much real help from Baba did I receive today? Uh, I had an experience interesting. I had to give a talk, public, uh, talk on the internet. Um, Every Sunday, there's someone and the other who gives a talk, and today was my time, my turn. But I felt so much help from Baba to prepare on this topic because the topic was the experiences with God. So really, Baba giving me the experiences and I'm um, uh, sharing those experiences with others. It was such a lovely experience of real help from Baba today. So can we show the word cloud for tomorrow?
Yeah, look at the look at the main words there. Again, remembrance and the word omens comes up. The word omens. Um, and that's also an aspect of time, isn't it? Omens and and heaven. These are the three words. Omens, remembrance. So what am I doing to guarantee these good omens so that my remembrance works and I, you know, get to heaven? Fast track to heaven. So homework for tomorrow. Can we show that? Listening at the time of the Morley. What are the signs that I am experiencing the omens of Jupiter? So just check the self. And what are the things that Baba tells me that I have good omens? and to make sure that I really, my accumulation is happening. Practice at the time of traffic control. I seal, uh, sorry, I see and feel as Baba does without choking on anything. So maybe there will be scenes coming up tomorrow and let me just, at those traffic controls, let me try to bring Baba's eyes behind on my eyes so that what I'm seeing is exactly the way Baba's seeing it so I don't get upset by anything. And the experience for tomorrow night's chart, how much was my third eye open today? And that means I'm seeing the things as Baba sees. I'm seeing an eternal drama. I'm seeing souls playing their roles. I see my own role being played out. I'm seeing the repetition of things even. I'm seeing perfection. I'm seeing the sattva in everyone. So if I want to become sattva pradhan, I have to connect with whatever is sattva in other people. So how much is, was my third eye open today? And tomorrow, Amrit Vela, Baba, I belong to you totally. Baba, I belong to you totally. That's our theme for tomorrow morning, Amrit Bella. Om Shanti. It's so beautiful to listen, then to experience, and then, you know, based on that, look at our chart. And uh, I think that internally, like as Arijanki said, you really, when, if we do it with right method, you don't feel it, it's a effort. Because there is so much attainment and so many experiences and then observing how Baba is helping in every task and just this awareness of uh, that is Baba's task, his Karan Karavanhar. So why I have to feel heavy about anything? Because especially at this time, there is so much concern. You know, even if we don't say subtly about how the things will be, what will be the future and I always say, well, it's Baba's task, it's Baba. So not carry any kind of burden. And then everything, everything I find the Karam, Karavanhar Baba is making it happen. You know, so I felt why Baba said courage, hold on, you know, hold on. You don't have to give up. You don't have to be discouraged. You don't have to be disappointed just maintain total faith in Baba and move, take every step with courage because so many thoughts could come. Should we do it, not do it, right, not right? You know, like one can be, but then just have total faith in Baba and you have to continue to do it because we have to do service, right? It's all the, all the places and now like some of you know, Baba has big places and we need to keep them active in some way or other, right? Otherwise, uh, if nothing happens and we're not 
kind of creating that energy of presence of our children. You know, so I, I at least realize that it needs a lot of courage. And some have a lot of courage, but some have very subtle fear that no, this might happen, that might happen. So I think a lot of faith, a lot of courage, and always remember that I have to only take one step, but Baba will come forward multi-million times uh, to help us. I think it's really, really practically relevant and it's most important at this time. I think, Didi, just one thing. Um... Go um, step by first. Multi millions in every step because there's every single jewel of knowledge is worth multi millions also. So the jewels are multi millions and Baba's help is multi million also. So yeah, we have the treasure. No, but certainly not to have any doubts, not to have any fears is really most important at this time, because if you have doubts, they create subtle obstacles, you know. Doubts always create obstacles because the energy goes low into that. I'm not able to use all the powers. So no doubts, no wasteful thinking. And of course, uh, blessing and, uh, you know, everyone has to kind of cooperate and agree. But, but I, I have feeling that whatever service we will do, whatever we are doing, 100% trust, trust in Baba. And based on that, we will be able to continue. You know, one of the points Baba said in Murli also, that create is not only you are sustaining, but we have to keep creating also, you know, service in some way to keep our places very active with the presence and uh, you know so that also it gets supported in many different ways which are very important too because we serve with bhavna then bhavna of others emerge also you know if you make bhog with lot of bhavna and when you share bhog then the soul's bhavna towards yagya emerges right I want yeah. to help, I want to be here, do karma yoga or help in Baba's Bandara to put some money. You know, all that bhavna emerges as much we are able to serve with love, courage and love. And then bhavna emerges and this is how we become cooperative companion in the sense of the yagya is sustained in this way. That otherwise, if we sit quiet, how will Yagya be sustained, no? So of course it requires courage, it requires total faith. And remember that Baba is there to constantly help us. So yeah. especially, especially at this time, because some places, you know, uh, they are Bhandara, they find they, because some pe people have to come, either mail the check or they have to come and all that. So at least their presence can help they could express their bhavna in a practical way. And it brings a lot of, lot of joy and happiness in everyone, those who are able to serve and those who are able to receive. So Baba said today, receive, immediately distribute and merge in yourself also. So I yeah. merge it and I also <clears throat> share with others. Sorry, my camera has stopped somehow. So just good wishes to everyone. Uh, I mean, it's subtly with you, but physically not.
Thank you.